So the guys, in this video I'm going to show you our color grade underwater footage shot in our DJI Osmo Action using the DCNLI -like color profile. This video is part of a series about underwater photography and videography. You can already check the first one we did about settings we use on GI Osmo Action. Before I start, I just wanted to say that I'm no professional colorist. This is just a workflow we use to color grade our underwater footage for YouTube. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So I already created a sequence and selected a video of me swimming. As I said before, this was taken using the DJI Osmo Action in a DCNLI profile, which is a flat profile. But I'm sure this workflow will work for GoPros on any other cameras. So as this scene likes a flat profile, the first thing you want to do is add contrast by color correcting. I'm making these adjustments in an adjustment layer, but you can do it directly on your video. So I'm going to lower the black and the shadows, also lower the highlights. In this case, I'm going to increase the whites. I'm also going to make the necessary adjustments in exposure. So now I'm going to increase the contrast slide to add even more contrast because it's still a bit flat. And I'm also going to increase the saturation about 30%. And our footage is already looking way better. So if you want to get your colors to look more natural and removing that blue or greenish tint that sometimes you get underwater, you're going to have to adjust the white balance. This is entirely up to you in your taste, actually. So what I'm going to do is making, making it a bit warmer to get better skin tones and also to compensate, also add a bit of magenta. And that's about it for the color correction, guys. So I would be comfortable putting this on my video timeline for YouTube and putting a LUT, you know, a regular LUT on top of it and it will be just enough for us. However, you may want to color grade if you want to do the next step, and that's pretty easy with this workflow. So I'm going to add a bit of an S-curve. The next thing I'm going to do is to add the blue tint to the footage in the mid-tones and shadows, just to making, making it that, you know, underwater vibe. In that way you can also choose what shade of blue you, you want to get. So I, read, I also decrease the mid-tones a bit. And you can always go back and make the necessary adjustments. Which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to adjust the S-curve again. And kind of refine the tint on the shadows and on the mid-tones. Oh, so I think this is already looking pretty great. Like as a as a final thing, you can also add a vignetting, just to, you know to kind of make your eyes going to to the subject. And that's about it, guys. I mean, it's pretty easy to make this. I think the footage looks pretty nice, to be honest, at least for my taste. So if you have any other tips to color grade and water footage, let us know in the comments. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't, and see you next time. Bye.